Darla and Lee, so lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, how does a film that on paper seem like it relates to only a certain community capture audiences' hearts all over the world? Well, we knew from the beginning that we wanted to really celebrate Mexico and the, the beauty of their people and traditions, but we also knew that this movie was going to be seen all over the world. And so we spent a lot of time thinking about what was universal about it. Um, and the more that we learned about Dia de Muertos, the Day of the Dead, the more we discovered that the, the celebration is less about death than it is about family and about the importance of remembering our loved ones and passing their stories along. And those, that's a universal idea, no matter what culture you're from. So we knew that if people cared about the characters and, uh, and we were able to kind of create strong emotions in them surrounding family and, and loved ones, that, uh, that hopefully we could touch people everywhere. I've read that it picks up the way it works is the, the director has an idea and mm -hmm. they run with it. But Lee, if I'm, if I'm right, your background isn't Mexican. No. <laughs> so what, one, what was it about this day that made you want to further explore? Um, I had been aware of, of the Day of the Dead for as long as I can remember. And then um, when I was in college and the years afterwards, I lived in Los Angeles. So there's, of course, a very big mm -hmm. Latino community there, a Mexican community. And so I felt surrounded by um, a lot of the iconography and the folk art of Dia de Muertos and other Mexican traditions. And I'd always been interested in it. And then after we finished making Toy Story 3 and we started thinking about what to do next, um, I kicked around a few ideas, but one of them that bubbled up was the idea of telling a story set against Dia de Muertos. And it felt attractive to me because I hadn't seen um, a story set against the, the holiday in any film, live action or otherwise. And um, the more I learned about the traditions, the more I learned how much it's about family and uh, you know this obligation that we have to pass stories along and keep the memories of our loved ones alive. And that just felt like a, a really universal idea on top of the specificity of of Mexico and, and, and this tradition in particular. So from conception to the big screen, how long does that take? Uh, for us, um, this film, and you know, all the Pixar films take between four and seven years or so um, for various reasons. There's lots of things going on. We're all helping each other. Uh, the release date windows aren't up to us. Um, but mostly it's working out story. And on this film, it took us uh, six years, so somewhere in the middle of that span. Wow, like for me, I, I hear six years and go, one, you have to be totally committed, and two, where does the patience come from? Because I reckon I'd probably hit the three year mark and go, can we just release it now? <laughs> well, the thing is, the, the, the movie, you know, we don't give birth to it fully formed. It, it takes time to figure it out over, over those years. Um, I always liken it to building a skyscraper. You know, when you have the idea to build a skyscraper from that moment until you cut the ribbon on opening day, it can take years of planning and you know, architectural renderings and engineering and, and construction. It's just a huge operation and it's very much like that for us on one of our films. It's just an enormous amount of work and hundreds and hundreds of people that are involved each and every day trying to create the film. And you better pick something you love. Yeah. <laughs> and, and in this case, we're so in love with Mexico and this this holiday and celebration. And and uh, it's such a beautiful film that honestly, I, I never ever got tired of making this movie, which so, is amazing when you think about it. So when you finally get to see it on the big screen, because six years is a long time to wait, even if you do mm -hmm. love what, you, what you're doing, when you finally get to watch it for the very first time, how are you feeling? Well, by that point, we've seen it slowly you know, come into focus. Um, I think we're grateful to be finished because we've worked <laughs> on it for so long and so hard. And uh, typically, I feel you know really happy and proud of everybody who worked on it, yeah. because the, the at their best, the films are so much greater than a sum of their in, in, you know uh, separate parts. Um, you know, I can have a vision for what I want to have up on screen, but by the time all the talented people that we work with get their hands on it, it becomes something so much better than anything I ever could have dreamed up. A lot of people say awards; they mean nothing. I think though it has to be so cool to have your work recognised by your peers and by audiences world over. So when you hear your name being announced at the Golden Globes, Coco, Best Animated Feature, what's going through your head? I think mostly we're proud for our crews. 
you know, when we're up there accepting awards, um, we're really accepting the awards on behalf of all the hundreds and hundreds of people who yeah. helped create the film. So we're just kind of proud of everybody and, yeah. and proud that their work is being celebrated. Um, I wouldn't say awards are not important. I mean, it's, it's, it's great, especially for the crew to have their yeah. work recognized. But um, for us, the most important thing is the movie itself. And that's what's going to last and be watched, hopefully, for many generations. Yeah. Are you shocked at the impact it's had? Because it's had a massive impact worldwide. It, you know, it's overwhelmingly exciting, um, and 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 uh, it's it was it is beyond our wildest dreams. I mean, of course, we hoped that it would connect with people and that people would love it as much as we love it. Uh, we're so out of control of how, what people are going to react to. So one of the the big surprises was China. Um, that was amazing. China is amazing, China's and amazing. Mexico, of course. Yeah. We've gone on to be, I think after only three weeks, we were the biggest movie ever released wow. in Mexico, yeah. which is uh, amazing because we just wanted to make a film that would be authentic and respectful and would hopefully be accepted by uh, the people of Mexico. But to see them so thoroughly embrace it uh, has been beyond rewarding. Yeah. And finally, what are you doing next? Are you taking a break? Yes. Or... Have you already started thinking of your next project? We're taking a break. break. Vacation time. <laughs> <laughs> well, enjoy the break. And thank you so much for Coco. It's gorgeous. Thank, thank you, so, you much. so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so 